Welcome back to the M4 Learning Channel. So today, and it's only going to be a very short video, we're going to make a toggle switch. So at this moment, with this heat pump here, uh, which we did on an earlier video, if we click on that, which I just have done, select enable and go OK, the heat pump starts. And then we click on that again, select disable, and the heat pump stops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a toggle switch. So we've only got one switch. So I'm still going to keep that switch here at the moment. In fact, I'll just move it there out of the way. I'm going to duplicate that switch. And I'm going to duplicate it again. In fact, no, I'll take the duplication out. I'll, I'll do the changes on this one first. So what we're going to do here is where we've got the set, we're going to do an action argument. So we're not going to prompt the user and we're going to say true so that switch now is going to make it true and then the visible we're going to animate the visible and then when it's true we're going to make it disappear so make it invisible we're going to just duplicate that now because it's simpler to just duplicate that switch let me just move that switch up to there and let's just put a tackle in there we're going to change it in a minute but just so we so we know what this is our on one so let's just put on there I would normally not do this but uh, let's just put some labels and that's our off one just to prove it all works first and then this time this is going to be visible the opposite to the other one and the set one this time is not that one is this here the action argument is going to be false not prompt and user so that's now gone invisible so if we do a, an on that's invisible we do an off that's invisible so what we do now is we highlight that and you can see this is the invisible one I'm just going to move it across with my left arrow key I don't know why I had to look at my keyboard just to see it was left and I'm going to delete that and delete that and then we're going to press that and then press it again disable so I presume that disable there that wording wants to be switch on so we take that out, so unanimate that, we we'll make a new animation and we'll put it to boolean simple. So when it's off, switch on. We're not bothered about wording for when it's true because we make it invisible so it doesn't make any difference to us. Switch on. And then we're while it's on, we we'll change this word. So we'll unanimate that animate it boolean change and that's going to be switch off we're not interested in the true because like I said we make it invisible looks like we are interested in the true so I've got it the wrong way around so now switch off switch on and I think what we'll do is we'll do the switch off in I think red a dark red and we'll do the switch on in green we want that green there for that one and we could just put that to no default not that it makes any difference because we make it invisible switch on switch off a toggle switch so that's a simple toggle switch so you don't need to use this here and select and go ok you can just 
press the same button again so that was just a short video showing you a toggle switch and how to do a toggle switch on a graphic thanks if you like the video can you subscribe please thank you